Okay, so I showed you how to create the book. And if you miss this one, uh, there's an email, the previous email that I sent uh, with the demo of, on how to create a book using Automated. So be sure to check it out if you've already gone through it, if you have your book and then you need to publish it, but you have certain doubts that this will be rejected somehow or that AI content is not allowed on uh, Kindle. Uh, you're mistaken because I've I've had uh, quite a few books published. These are all AI books, as you can see, and uh, they don't have any issues with AI generated content. They do ask if it's AI generated or not, which you don't have to admit. Or if you want to stay true to your uh, I don't know principles, you can say it's AI generated. It doesn't really matter because they don't really care. They care care about the quantity. Uh, the more books there are on Amazon, the more they make sales, right? Who would reject uh, clear profit? So we've gone through book creation. Let's say we created this book. Uh, what we're going to do, we, we're going to need to download it. We can print it as PDF, but for the purposes of publishing, I would just download it as a document docx file. Uh, we can download the cover as well uh, by clicking on this button over here. And we'll have both the cover and the book in our Word document. So the next thing that we're gonna do, uh, this is within the Word document. You can you can do it, or you don't have to. Uh, the table of contents is not that great. I would uh, I would prefer to remove this one. And then what I would do, I would just go to references and then insert table of contents, sorry, table of content, and you can choose whichever the template you want. So this is the table of content. It only takes a few clicks. It's not an issue, right? So we have our book. Let's just save it, uh, file, save. We already have it downloaded. We can exit it now. Now, the, the interesting part, this is Amazon Kindle Publishing. All you have to do is to create your account and you'll be able to see the same thing I see over here. So head out to Amazon Kindle Publishing. And then once you visit the website for self-publishing, this is the link. Uh, obviously, it will automatically log me in since I'm already here, but you'll have to go through some verification. Uh, just You'll just input your name, uh, last name, and an email, and then you'll have to do a verification of an email. Uh, just confirm that you're the person who's creating the account and you'll be ready to go. Uh, obviously, this will be the, the interface of Amazon K KDP. All you have to do is click on the Create button. Then you're going to select the Kindle ebook, Create ebook. And this is where the fun begins. Book title. Uh, you probably already know your book title. If you don't know your book title, for any reason, you can go to tasks or you can access it through, uh, I don't know, dashboard. And you can uh, use any of these tools to create your title. Let's say my book is about uh, real estate, right? And we can just find the title ideas, uh, informational title ideas, this one. Uh, name. Let's say you have the video. perfect idea for a book, but okay, you are unsure on the automatically. So don't be, don't, don't worry about that. You just explain how it works. A real estate, and then we can select your variations. Click on the generate button. You'll get some pretty decent ideas. The real estate blueprint strategies for success. I like this one. It's not that long. It's it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I think we we will use this one. Uh, then we're gonna add the subtitle. I suggest you use any subtitle. Uh, for, I'm not going to do it right now, but you you can you can do the same thing. You can use the tool to create uh, to pick any other subtitle. For example, we can even brainstorm without the tool building wealth in real estate. That could be uh, that could be our subtitle. The reason I'm adding this subtitle is uh, to sort of have more keywords into the topic. Uh, the more related keywords you have, the bigger the chances are to pop uh, in, in the searches of Amazon users. So once they Google something like real estate books, you might jump in because you have your title related to real estate, your subtitle, and later on, we'll even add 
keywords. I'll show you exactly where these are, these are the keywords, we'll, but later on we'll do that. So let's proceed. Series, if your book is a part of a series, uh, so this is obviously not a part of a series, this is just the first book, but if you plan to plan on creating a few books, uh, then you have then you might want to add it to series uh edition number it's not needed first name i like to keep to use my own name although you don't have to use your own name uh, you can use alias you can use i don't know whoever whoever's permission you get <laughs> you can use your writer's per permission or i don't know i prefer to use my own just because people uh people know me for being a creator, for being a writer, so I don't know, I just want to build authority around my name and not any other name. Uh, contributors, no need, uh, author, we can just use the same, Stefan. Description, you don't have to write the description, luckily, you can just use one, one of the tasks. We'll open the book, or we can do it from the, from the Word document, or we can do it from the preview page, and this this is going to be enough. Just copy your entire entire outline like this. Find the find the uh, sorry we are looking for description right. So description company meta clickbaity catchy titles no product description Amazon book summary. Yeah, I think this this one will work. If you are publishing yeah. books, on so this is where you can paste your outline. Just copy and paste it. Entirely, I already copied it, and we're gonna paste it here. Then we're gonna click on the generate button. I forgot to use three variations, so we can use three variations to see which one gives the best output. Right now, it's this one. Ignore the HTML uh, things over here. We'll have to do some minor tweaks uh, to to fix this code issue. Uh, but for now, I think. I think we're gonna regenerate this. Just click again on the generate button. Let's find something, something like this maybe. Discover the essential guide to understanding real estate, a crucial section. Uh, economy. This book covers the main aspects. I like this one. So we're just gonna copy it into the description bar. But yeah, let's copy it with the with the title sort of like this. No, let's exclude it. It's gonna be, they don't have the title over here, the, the H tag to be SEO friendly. So we're just gonna use the description like this. I own the copyright. This is important to select. Sexual explicit images or title. I don't know if you wanna create something spicy, you should choose probably yes. For me, real estate is boring, so no. Uh, choose the youngest and oldest minimum, doesn't matter, maximum doesn't matter. Uh, choose categories. This is good to, to select. So we can go with uh, something like business. If there's no uh, real estate stuff, education, that might be okay. General, subcategory, there's no subcategory. We can add up to three categories. So we're going to select another one. This is the first one that we edited. Now this is the second one. Uh, we can add something like, uh, so we added Kinderbook Business and Money, and now we might be able to add something like hmm, education, because after all, you're selling the books and uh, you're educating people. Sub Subcategory, uh, well, this is not needed. We can just select education over here. Uh, I, I don't think I recall, I, I can think of any other um, category over here non classic no 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 we're not gonna use that one so we have two categories that's that's perf perfectly fine we're gonna save them and now the keywords part obviously you don't have to uh think about the keywords we have the tool for it as well just head out to the tasks click on on the search bar and look for uh, keywords key keyword research for amazon kdp if you are publishing books on amazon we're gonna pa pause this because it goes automatically we're gonna again copy the entire outline so AI knows exactly what we are writing about and it will give us the keywords that we need. Then we're going to go for three variations, click on the generate button and we'll get seven keywords. I, I made it, uh, I prompted it the way we always get seven keywords. Real estate. 
these are all good keywords we can just copy copy them one by one real estate market analysis property manager did okay let's see if there's anything home buying guide this is fine mm. investment let's go back to the real estate marketing strategies this is fine i like this one as well i guess that's all i'm ready to release my book now save and continue now on the next page they are going to ask you about the uh, content so all you have to do is upload a manuscript uh, the books that you download from um, automated are already formatted so uh, un unless you want to do some tweaks they're perfectly fine to to just upload them directly uh you can you can just edit the table of contents part uh to have the sort of word formatting on it uh, and you'll be good to go i've already done that so i'm just gonna upload the real estate book over here manuscript it will take a couple of seconds maybe 12 10 to 12 seconds and then we're gonna uh, upload the cover now i haven't done anything with the cover because there's a completely different video of me teaching you how to create covers you can use either our um, cover editor which is within the book so when you when you open the book you can access it over here create the image and then you'll have an option to edit the cover you can use our tool you can use canva adobe any editing software that helps so you can use that you can use their own uh, cover creator which is not so customizable but for the purpose of this video i'm going to go through it uh, and and i'm going to show you exactly how it's done you're going to click on a button and they're they're going to prompt you with something like this got it don't show, don't show me this again unless you want it from image gallery uh, from my computer let's do it from my computer go to downloads i've downloaded the, the cover earlier right so this is the cover they will automatically uh put their, uh, their the title and everything on your cover and you can choose any of these designs i really like this one even though i'm not a fan of their cover editor i'm i'm gonna choose this one i like it we're gonna save it although i would prefer to have something um, like an, an overlay behind so the the letters are more readable you uh, you ideally need to have clickbaity catchy title that just jumps in front of them and catch it catches their attention so uh so i would i would use that but for the purposes of this video i'm not gonna do it or actually let's let's see if changing the black changing to black helps preview we're gonna preview it uh, so in order to move forward we're gonna have to preview and then save and submit it's loading as you can see and i guess that's it cover uploaded successfully even though it's not showing here it's uploaded it okay ai generated content obviously we're gonna select no because who cares if we if we use the or not they don't care uh, and if you go with yes you're gonna have to select for every element uh, exactly what you what you used what you what you've done even if you for example just use the ai to create images you will have to admit to using ai uh, for every section of your book for example if uh, you've used ai for images let's say you'll have to uh, select one of these section one of these options which basically admit that you've used the ai to create content even though you haven't if you select none it will it will not leave it will not let you uh, to proceed i think let me let me see uh, let's say we've used dali uh, tree we will select none we found 13 possible spelling er errors uh, we can launch a preview to see what they found this is the preview of the book which is pretty cool uh the the image yeah that's another part that i forgot to mention you should probably remove the image from your word document before uploading because uh, amazon kdp doesn't allow uh this format of images you can use other forms formats 
but this one is a bit messy because the, it's, it's the cover image and we've just included it in the Word document in case you need it. So uh, we're going to ignore that one. It will not show once you remove it. This is the table of content. If you click on any of the links, you will get, uh, you'll get this. Uh, and then we're going to go to save and continue. Kindle book pricing. That's the next page that you're going to work on. And <clears throat> we can enroll the book in the KDP select. Uh, all territories, we don't want to exclude anyone. Royalty program, I think I would always go with this one. Uh, even though 70% sounds more, uh, you're going to want to go with 35%. Uh, for more information how this works, here, here's the link below. You'll just click on it and you'll get the information. One option gives you fixed price per commission per, per book sale, which is 35, which is good. And the other option charges you on top of the on top of the book uh, file size. So uh, it it's a bit messy and tricky. Uh, they they sort of calculate the the sizes and everything, and it's really mess mess my brain until I met a guy who really does this for a living. I do not uh, publish books for a living. I sell them on my own website. Uh, but I met this guy and he just told me just to avoid headache, don't even consider reading or whatever, just go with 35%, it's much, much better in my opinion. So I trusted him and hence we're just choosing 35. Uh, and now we're going to select the price. I say 7 USD is quite, quite fair. Uh, we're going to go with 7 and then we're going to publish our Kindle book. It will take a few seconds to get approved and congratulations. It can take up to 72 hours for your title to be available for purchase on Amazon. Now you can continue with paperback and hardcover, which is simply, it's basically the same procedure. It just requires the entire new video for me to create, which will I do. Uh, and I guess see you in the next video. This one covers uh, the publishing process. Uh, at the bottom of the email, since this, th at the point of recording this, uh, it will take around 72 hours. I don't want to wait for 72 hours to give you the video. I'm just going to send you the video and uh, later on, I'll just include the, the screenshot of book being approved at the bottom of the email. So you'll get the confirmation that this actually works. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, just reach out to me by replying to any of the emails or at stefan at ultimate.com. I'll be here to respond within 24 hours. If I ever forgot to respond to an email, just remind me and I'll be there with you in no time. Bye bye.